Good morning, it's time for another makeup look. I'm gonna do this look on my face this morning. Um, I'm gonna chat to you while I do it, so I might not explain everything, but it's only the eyes that are slightly different from everything else I normally do. And afterwards, we have to go and get my kit ready. So let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna start with an eye primer, as always. This time I am using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance should probably be thrown away because I've had it for years but it still works and it's slightly shimmery this one I've always thought it would actually do as an eyeshadow all by itself it's quite nice and bring that up to the brow bone as well just for a little bit of shimmer up there okay I'm going to go and do an eyeshadow look today I'm going to use the this is the Natasha Denona Mini Gold Palette, and I'm going to use the. I'm going to use. I'm go, I think I'm going to use these two colours here, but I'm also going to use the pink in the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. So, I'm going to go in with the pink one first. Just place that on the inner half of my eyelid. About three quarters, actually. I'm going to take a fluffy brush. I'm just going to blend that through the socket and out. Now I'm going to go in with the shimmery khaki colour from the Natasha Denona palette and I'm going to use a very small brush. This is actually, this is actually a lip brush but that's fine because it's clean and I'm going to use it just because it's a bit more precise than an eyeshadow brush. My friend Aloma from Bermuda left me a comment on last week's makeup video, which was actually a really good question. She asked me why did I decide to become a wedding, a bridal makeup artist? I'm just going to go under the eye with this. When I moved here, I had been a TV makeup artist, as I told you in the last video. And of course, here on the Amalfi Coast, there's no TV stations or studios anywhere near here so there wasn't really anything for me to do here and I'm going to go in with the darker one a bit because that wasn't light enough for me and I was almost going to give up becoming a makeup artist but then in one of those first years that I was here and it was definitely before Sky was born um, there was a bride who had an accident about four days before her wedding with some um, with a tray of wine glasses that she was carrying. She sat down on the wrong end of a sun, lo sun lounger and it flipped up and she ended up falling and smashing a tray of glasses into her face. And she ended up with two black eyes and she had glass cuts all the way down her forehead and down her throat she was a real mess and somebody suggested that I might be able to do something about it and help her out for her wedding so I went to meet up with her I'm just going to put some foundation on this is the Charlotte Tilbury magic foundation use my fingers anyway um she was a real mess uh but I managed to paint out the bruises around her eyes. Luckily she wasn't swollen around the eyes, she was just bruised and I managed to neutralise it and paint it out and basically paint a new face on her. Uh, the hairdresser swooped her hair down over all the cuts and stitches on her face and we made her look quite decent. She was absolutely thrilled. She rehired the photographer that she had actually cancelled and had a lovely wedding and I popped back later to give her a touch up, which I normally wouldn't do. I normally wouldn't go back to the bride after I've left her before the wedding, but with this girl, 
special circumstances. So I went back and gave her a touch up later on. And, um, and, and I thought, if I can do that, that was like the worst case scenario bride. So I thought if I can do that, I could do any bride. And I started doing more and more. Just happened, just word of mouth really. I didn't really ever advertise or anything and I still don't, they just find me. Now it's obviously much easier with Instagram and uh, Facebook and all these websites. But when I started, I think they only found me through TripAdvisor and I didn't put myself on it. Other people talked about me on it. So that's how I started doing wedding makeup here. I've actually got a job this weekend on a um, filming a, I think it's an advert or it's just a, a shooting for an ad shooting for an advert for a Italian perfume quite a well-known one I'm not going to mention it because probably not allowed to until afterwards but I've got to get my kit ready afterwards so once I've got my makeup on I'm going to put my I'm going to get my kit ready with you and show you what I'm going to be taking I know that there's going to be three models probably one of them is male and two females and it's all very natural, so I'm not going to need any glitters or any crazy colours or anything. So I'm just going to pack up a nice, easy, natural kit. Sorry, I'm not really talking you through what I'm doing here, but it's all standard stuff. Just setting my makeup through my T-zone now. Mascara. I think this blusher is now a little bit too pale for me. Now I'm going to dip my finger in the gold and just put it in the middle of my eyelid. A little bit of pop of colour there. That's better. It's a bit more interesting. Keeping my lips fairly nude, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Eye Lip Liner, which needs a sharpen. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. It's not lipstick, it's a gloss. And there we go. Okay, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm trying to grow my fringe out so I can get it more. It's at that awkward stage at the moment, but I want to get like the side swept curtain bangs. And it's just a little bit too short for that and it's too long to have down on my face so it's all a bit awkward at the moment not much i can do about that let's go and get my kit ready okay so this is my kit bag these are my brushes they're all clean and ready to go so i'm going to just take them out and basically i keep everything in separate bags so i have these bags that i use one for lips one for eyes one for something else and one for bases and concealers and skin stuff they have just all been through the washing machine so they're all sparkly clean now and while they were in the wash i dumped everything in here so oh, ow careful my finger everything needs to come out Right. 
Now, let's get started. So, concealers will go in here. This is my eye bag, I can see because it's got bits of eyeliner stuck on it still. So I doubt very much I'm going to need bright green and bright blue eyeshadow. shadow that's it so that's what I'm going to take with me I will be taking some Ziploc bags because uh, the new COVID regulations actually don't change much but they say that every person has to have their own separate brushes so I can't use the same brush on one person and then another person which is pretty standard because you would normally wash your brushes with alcohol between applications anyway but I'm just gonna bring some Ziploc bags so that I can show them that I am using one brush putting it in a bag and that will be that person's bag and then I will use as different brushes for the next person and put them in a different bag and keep them visibly separate so that everybody can see. So that is my kit ready and now I'm ready to go to work on Saturday. Hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye.